Welcome to the Hair of the Dog podcast. I'm Nicole Bagley, and today I'm going to help you find that one holy grail thing that we all want, but seems so incredibly elusive. And that thing is more time. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Hair of the Dog podcast. If you're a pet photographer ready to make more money and start living a life by your design, you've come to the right place. And now, your host, pet photographer, travel addict, chocolate martini connoisseur, Nicole Begley. Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the podcast. I'm your host, Nicole Begley. And today, I want to talk about that one thing that we all want more of, but it's so, so very hard. And a super easy little hack that is going to help you find more of it. Are you ready? Also, by the way, bonus, this is going to be a short and quick episode so that, I don't know, it saves you time. (laughs) All right. This episode was inspired by John Acuff's All It Takes is a Goal podcast, episode number 57. He says it better than I do, so I honestly won't be offended if you want to shut this down and go straight to the horse's mouth and get it from him. Uh, If you've never heard of John Acuff before, he's hysterical. His books are fantastic. I just read a few months ago his latest book, Soundtracks. And it's about the soundtracks that are going on in repetition, ad nauseum in the back of our brain all the time that we're saying to ourselves. Half the time, we're not even realizing what we're saying to ourselves. It's a great book. Highly recommend it. Super entertaining and a lot of impactful moments in it. So go check it out. But um, today... I kind of want to talk about, um, it's a a task that he mentions in episode 47 of his All It Takes is a Goal podcast of how to have more productivity to get more time of the day. And it starts with something really simple because we've all heard that we can't measure what we don't track, right? Well, that works with your time as well, because here's the thing. We all have 24 hours in a day. There are none of us that have like figured out some way to get more time unless we're going to like move to some place in space where the time is less because there's less gravity or some crazy way how that works. If you're here on Earth and you're listening to this podcast, we all have the same amount of time. And as humans, our brains tend to uh, vastly overcommit to what we can get done in the day. And if you're anything like me, every single new project sounds incredibly appealing and you have major FOMO and you just want to get it all done and it all sounds exciting and you all of a sudden realize you have committed to 37,000 projects. Yeah, yeah, I've been there. (laughs) So there's a lot of times that we just feel like overwhelmed, feel like we're spinning our wheels. And usually it's because we're just trying to fit too much stuff in the day. And quite honestly, we don't even know how we're spending our days. People often ask me, man, Nicole, you work so much. You must work so much. And I'm like, honestly, I don't. I am doing this exercise. So I'll be able to report back in two weeks and let you know exactly how much time I spent working in two weeks. But if I have a good work day, it's five hours. And that's five days a week. So max 25 hours a week. Okay, yeah, I'll work on the weekends a little bit here and there. But other days, maybe I don't get those five hours in. So truly, I bet I work 20 to 25 hours a week, maybe on a good week. (laughs) Good meaning like I actually got to work more because I don't know, I love what I do. Uh, I might work up to 30 hours, but I don't know that I've ever worked 40 hours a week because I have to take care of the kids, get them to school, make some lunches, do the grocery shopping, do the laundry, go ride my horse, you know, like 8,000 other things going on that there's only so much time. And I'm a person that really enjoys my eight hours of sleep. So I'm not prepared to give that up, nor do I recommend that you give that that up either. It's been clinically proven that sleep is very much required. Um, Total side note, there's some Joe Rogan podcast episode from a guy that studies sleep, it was absolutely fascinating. And it was something like after, oh, I forget how many nights, three or four nights of uh, less than like five hours of sleep, people were as impaired as if they were like incredibly drunk because they didn't have sleep. And then they started having hallucinations and all sorts of crazy stuff just from a lack of sleep. So this is your public service announcement. 
make sure when you're tracking your time, you are going to get enough sleep. (laughs) But anyway, all of this to say, Our brain tends to want to do all of these things, and um, the reasons might be just we're excited about all the things. Maybe you're coming at having to do all these things because you're a people pleaser, because you've grown up with the expectations that you do what's asked and you, uh, you know, take care of others. But like they say on the plane, you need to put your own oxygen mask on first. So what are you doing to take care of yourself? You're worth it. It's important. Please, please, please make sure that you're taking care of yourself. And again, this exercise we're going to do today can hopefully help us do that. So here we are. It's the beginning of 2022. If you have not listened to the recent episode I did with Heather about planning our new year and planning our goals, definitely go check that out. It is episode number 122, New Year Planning with Heather Lottinen. And um, so then we have our goals, right? We know where we're going to go this year. So now we have to figure out how are we going to actually put time into our schedule to, to get to those goals, to actually accomplish those goals so we don't get to August and we realize that our goals have gone totally off the rail, that we've just let our day to day responsibilities and what others expect from us and just kind of go through the motions. And we didn't actually carve out time and make it a priority to do these things that we wanted to do. So that's what we're going to do today. Super quick, super easy. We are going to do a two week time audit. Three weeks would be great. Two weeks is definitely the minimum because one week, you know, our weeks change a little bit. So two to three weeks is going to give you a pretty good baseline. And this might be even an interesting thing that you keep going for a little bit. You know, maybe you go for a month, maybe you like doing it and you're like, oh man, let me just see where I'm spending that time because we can't measure, we can't change things that we don't measure, that we don't track. So this is going to allow us to kind of see where we are. Much like if you were trying to get out of debt, our first step is to figure out, okay, how much money do I actually owe? How much money is actually coming in? How much money is actually going out? Same thing if you wanted to lose weight. Okay, it's not just about the exercise. What's going into my body? You know, what am I doing to burn that? Like, what are are you doing? What are you eating? How much are you eating? And how much are you exercising? You have to track all of those things. So in order to achieve our goals, we need to track our time. We need to track the time that we can put towards it and the time we actually are putting towards it and carve out really that non-negotiable time to work on those goals so it doesn't get pushed to the side. Okay, so what are the rules for this? really, really easy. Jump over to Google and go ahead and just type in free printable weekly calendar. And you're going to see a whole bunch pop up. Just pick one that you like how it's laid out, download it, print it off. Easy peasy. And then you can, what you can do is do 30 or 60 minute intervals. You don't need to get so granular as like, I took a five minute break to go to the restroom and have a snack. Yeah, no, 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 we don't need that. Just put in big chunks for the day, rounding up to like, you know, 30 minutes or so of working. Maybe what you're working on, is it just emails? Is it just social media? Is it like really heavy work of like business admin marketing? Is it editing? Is it actually shooting? Like you can break your work into those kinds of things if you want, or you can just have a general work. Uh, For the first two weeks, if you want to go general, that's fine. But then in the future, if you want to be like, man, I'm working 30 hours a week and I don't feel like I'm moving the ball forward. Okay, maybe it's time to audit those 30 hours and see how much time you're spending on email, how much time you're spending on social media, how much time you're spending on these other things so you can have some dedicated time towards those actually goals. So anyway, we are going to take this blank weekly calendar And we're literally just going to write down all day long what we do. And I'm breaking mine into work and I'm putting a general thing, like if it was a call, if it was a podcast recording, if I was, you know, doing email, the one I'm definitely tracking is email, I'm figuring out how much time I spend in my email. And um, then for the other things, I'm tracking time at the barn, I'm tracking workouts, and those are going on as a different color so that I can see in my face of like, oh, (laughs) well, so much for that goal of five times. It looks like there's only two pink spots on that whole week. (laughs) 
Um, and then I'm also tracking just family time and just downtime. Um, you know, dinner, TV, <clears throat> excuse me, Ozark just came out. So I've been busy with that every night. But anyway, bonus points if you want to color code it. I've been making my work stuff blue so I can easily see. And then I'm just putting at the bottom how much time per day I'm working on actual work stuff because I really, truly am curious how much time I really do work in every two weeks. So or in every week. So we're going to do this for a minimum of two weeks. Who's with me? Please do this with me. I would love to see what you guys are up to, what insights you gather from this, and then we can kind of come back together. We can make a plan and we can start to use our time more effectively because after this, then we can start looking at what times we have if there's any sort of pattern of, oh man, Wednesday mornings are like awesome work time. Okay, can we take that and even put 90 minutes every Wednesday morning as a non-negotiable on our number one goal? Things like that. So let's first do that time on it. And then we're going to come back and we are going to start to schedule these non-negotiables. So that's it. We're uh, like 11 minutes into this podcast. That's all. Easy peasy. Get out there. Google that free printable weekly calendar, download it, print it off, track your time for the next two weeks. And then I want to hear about your insights. You can let me know in our free Hair of the Dog community, which is at www.hairofthedogacademy.com slash community. And I'll take you right there. Or you can let me know on Instagram, which is at Hair of the Dog academy.com. Send me a DM. Let me know what kind of things you are finding. Actually, bonus points. Go ahead and screenshot and take a little picture of your calendar as you're filling it out and go ahead and post it to your stories. Tag me on Instagram. I would love to see it. But anyway, super exciting. Can't wait to see what you guys are up to. That's your homework for the week. Short and sweet, but it's going to be very impactful. All right, I'll see you guys next week. If you enjoy this podcast episode, go ahead and take a screenshot of this episode on your phone and post it up there on your Instagram stories and be sure to tag us at Hair of the Dog Academy. And we would just love to see how you're listening. And uh, full disclosure, sometimes we just like to give away a little pet photographer swag in the form of Hair of the Dog t-shirts and sweatshirts. So... What are you waiting for? Go ahead and share that screenshot of this episode. And don't forget to tag us at Hair of the Dog Academy. And while you're there, maybe you want to jump on over to our account and see what we're up to on the gram. Would love to connect with you. Thanks for listening to the Hair of the Dog podcast. This was episode number 127. If you want to check out the show notes for access to any of the resources that we mentioned, simply go to www.hairofthedogacademy.com slash 127. Thanks for listening to this episode of Hair of the Dog podcast. If you enjoyed this show, please take a minute to leave a review. And while you're there, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss our upcoming episodes. One last thing. If you are ready to dive into more resources, head over to our website at www.hairofthedogacademy.com. Thanks for being a part of this pet photography community.